Hey, what up guys what up what up in today's video guys i'm gonna show y'all on how to export out multiple data frames to one excel file right so if you have let's say two data frames you just call it data frame one data frame two in python and we want to be able to export it out to the same excel file but in different tabs different sheets right sheet one sheet two so again very simple not that complicated but it's one of those deals where um, uh, I got a request, somebody asking how to do it. So I'm going to make a quick video, show you how to do it. Before we get started, guys, hit that like button. Give me a follow, man. I appreciate it. Hit that like button. Let's get started. All right, guys. So what we're going to be doing here is the only package that we're going to need is uh, pandas. So again, say it all the time, create virtual environment, get pandas installed there, man. Don't install packages on your, your, um, your main interpreter that, that you install always virtual environments install packages. So, okay, let's go ahead and import in Panda, right? And I make this a little bit bigger, kind of, kind of small. So it'll be import pandas as PD. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, let's create some sample data sets, sample data sets that we're going to have here. So our first data set, uh, let's call this data set one, uh, let's go ahead and create, create a data set. So let's call this name. And then it's going to be a list of all the names that we're going to be dealing with. So let's say Karen, um, let's pick just a few names, uh, Jill and, um, Peter, right? Uh, then we're going to add another column, right? So that this is technically column number one, which is the name column number two would be age. And then again, same thing will be a list. So we could say, I don't know, 22, 34, 22, um, 18. Cool. So now let's create another data set. Data set two. And then just change some of these values, right? Make it something slightly different. And then the names. Uh, Pete, Jim, um, Kelly, and Kim, right? So again, just dummy data, two columns, name, age, something very basic. So we got a sample, uh, data sets created. So ultimately we need to create data frames cause that was the whole request. If I got multiple data frames, how can I, uh, get the data frames exported to the same Excel file, right? Same Excel file. So, so next let's go ahead and create our data frames real quick. Uh, create data frames. So this would be data frame one and we're going to bring in pandas, uh, data frame. And then literally we're going to just pass in our data set which is data set one and then data frame two, same thing. Let's call our data set two. And ultimately now we have two data frames, but again, assuming whatever data, whatever data frame you're dealing with already, if you're using the, um, the read CSV that creates the data frame read Excel. So again, if you already have a data frame, you don't need to create it. You're, you're, you know, you already have have it captured only thing you may need to do is what we're going to do next which is the exporting right export it all out to one excel file and that's where this would be export to one excel file all right so the first thing that we need to create we need to create the um pretty much the the instance of the excel that we're going to export out so in order to do that, we're going to use in pandas, there is this 
Excel writer class that we're going to be calling, right? This class takes in a, a pass, which is the, the file name pass. Ultimately in our case, they just call it Excel export sample Excel LS. So I did not provide a full directory pass. So it's going to, it's going to export this file in my current directory that I'm working on. But again, if you're dealing, if you want it to go to a specific directory pass, make sure to provide the full pass so it could get saved to that uh, location. So uh, this is pretty much creating a, an instance of Excel. Think of it that way. And then as we add data frames to each tab, then we'll finish it off by saving it and then closing out of it. And that would actually generate the file. So for right now, I'm going to call this um, Excel. And then what I'm going to do next is data frame one uh, to Excel, right? So again, if you're familiar with pandas, you know, you're used to doing to Excel, but normally you just do it on the one on a per data frame basis. In this case, we're doing again, many data frames to one Excel file. So our, the, the first, the C word says Excel writer. And that's pretty much what this is right here. Excel, right? I just call it Excel. I'm going to pass in this, um, uh, this object in here, Excel. And then the next thing will be sheet name. And this is where I got to specify what, what, what am I calling this sheet, right? So in my case, I'm going to call it sheet one. Okay. The next thing is going to be a data frame two. And again, to Excel. Same thing, got to pass in my, my Excel object, my writer, Excel writer object over here, which I'm passing that in. So again, because what it's doing here is taking the data from the data frame and we're writing it out to this object. That's what we're doing. Sheet two. So under sheet name, it will be sheet two. So once that has been written to that, my writer object, to finish it off is going to be to save, uh, save Excel file. It's the last step, right? So ultimately what we're doing here is going to be Excel dot save, which is going to generate the file, saving it. And then go ahead and call Excel dot close to go ahead and just kind of close the instance, be done. And, um, yeah, man, this is it again. I, I, these steps here was more so to generate some sample data. If you already have a process where you're creating data frames, all you need to do is this is create your Excel writer object and then start for each data frame, pass that in as one of your arguments for the purpose of, um, saving that data frame out to this specific Excel file. That's all you really have to do. So let's go ahead and run it. Let, let's open up a terminal. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and run it. Python test. Uh, boom. All right. It's done. And uh, let's see. So what did I call it? there? It goes Excel export sample. So if I open this up, we should see two tabs. Um, so we have sheet one, you could tell we have our first name age again. I didn't remove this, but you can in my data frame. So either way we have our first, um, our, our name column and age. Then we look at sample two completely different data sets, right? Kim. And with this one, we have Karen, right? So they are unique. They are different, but we have everything written out in two different tabs. So again, really not that hard guys, pretty straightforward. But again, if you're ever in a scenario where, you know, you need to do that, hopefully this video helps you out again, guys, this video with a requ with a request, somebody was stuck, they need some help. So hopefully if you're in the same position, um, you're trying to figure it out. This video would help you out. And, and once you see the video and see what I'm doing, 
it's really not that complicated. It's pretty straightforward. Again, guys, appreciate it, man. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching the video. Y'all take care. Peace.